Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. A baker's dozen of execution opponents began a prayer service at the state capitol by remembering the slain police officer and his family that got Manuel Valet the death penalty. This is a service of remembrance for Luis Pina. Valet died shortly after 7 on Wednesday night. The use of the drug penobarbital as the first of the three drug cocktail made headlines overseas. In the UK, The Guardian said the execution was carried out amid a fight over cruel injection. In Denmark, the headline decried the use of a Danish-made drug. I think people are outraged that um, drugs that are not approved for human use are being used to kill people. Both the Florida and U.S. Supreme Courts have cleared the use of the drug. The Department of Corrections called the execution humane. The foremost objective of the Florida Department of Corrections lethal injection process is for a humane and dignified death, and that objective was accomplished. No U.S. drug maker has a similar product, and earlier this year, an Italian company ceased production of a drug that had been used in executions, and now the Danes are changing their sales structure, saying they won't sell to anyone if the drug's going to be used to kill someone. Governor Rick Scott cut short his gaggle with reporters when a question about the execution was raised. Valet was Governor Rick Scott's first death warrant. It's likely not his last, despite calls for a moratorium. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalinda reporting.